Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to my shop. Another beautiful fall day. Figured I'd do the intro outside. We won't have many more. So this project's a little bit uh, different. Fellow YouTuber Steve over there at Firehouse Custom Fab decided to put together a little Secret Santa project. He reached out to several of us uh, YouTubers and I said, sure. So I think there's about uh, eight or so maybe creators that are going to be involved in this project. What it entails is each of us is supposed to make a, you know, a gift in our shop and we're supposed to video it. Once we get the gift done and we will be told, I guess, you know, before Christmas, sometime in December, who we send the gift to and then when we're supposed to release the video. So uh, that's what this is about. So let's get in the shop and get started and I'll show you what we're doing. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. So this is what we're going to make. We are going to make a custom bottle opener. I got the plans from Aaron down in Australia. His channel is Aaron Engineering. He came up with this. He made one on his channel. thought they're pretty cool. So he was kind enough to send me the plans. We're going to do a little uh, customizing to it though. You know, add a little bit of uh, our flair. But I think what I want to do on the handle is put a knurl on it. And what we'll do is we'll cut the knurl over there in the G&E shaper. That should be fun. And you know the main body it's uh, pretty straightforward we'll cut that slot you know over here in the mill and we'll put her together and like i said probably do a, a custom insignia there so those are the plans fairly simple but should be fun i've got to convert everything from metric to uh imperial that shouldn't be hard so that's just showing some um you want to uh, freeze it there that way you can uh, make one yourself if you're interested so I got the stock let me get the stock cleaned up and we'll get started got my material pulled and cut to pretty close dimension I think maybe about 100,000 large or so give me enough uh, for cleanup just a piece of flat bar hot rolled eighth inch diameter well, a little over four inches right now and I got a piece of flat bar aluminum 6061 3 16 inch thick one inch wide what uh, about four a little over about probably about over a little over four and a half inches I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and buff and polish this thing get it uh, as clean and shiny as possible because I'm afraid if I Try to do it after I knurl it. The uh, you know all the little points and edges and stuff would wreak havoc on the buffing wheel. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all nice and pretty, and then you guys will uh, meet me over the shaper. And we'll go ahead and cut the knurl. I'm gonna leave it in one piece instead of cutting it and doing it in two pieces. I think that'll be easier since I won't have that much to hold anyways in the vise. I think one big piece probably will be better. So. That's the route we're going. See you at the shaper. I think we're all set up. Had to do a little finagling here to try to get such a uh, thin piece proud enough off the vise. We're only going to do about a 20 thou depth of cut. So, well, said it's close. So, I've got to rotate it 45 degrees. We'll go cut one side and I'll we'll turn it around. 45 degrees the opposite and we should have a nice knurl so let's get rocking and rolling what do you say all right let's go our initial five and then we want to do 10 Lock it. Mm -hmm. Let's get to cutting.
that's what it looks like after the first pass. Looks pretty good. Got a couple tooling marks in here, but once I turn it around and we cut the other direction, I think she'll be okay. Hopefully the glare is not getting washed out and you guys can see it. Hopefully you can see that, but I think the neural came out pretty nice. It's got a good feel to it, but it's not too sharp, you know, because I didn't want it too sharp. I've got a deeper depth of cut to get the the tops there, uh, you know, even more pointier. So, got a couple tool drags here and there, but that can be expected. So. Go ahead and get these edges cleaned up. Time to cut the slot. Had to get a little creative here. Use my mini pallet. I don't have a Kurt vise that has a swivel base on it, so figured this is probably the easiest way to cut that angle. Hopefully, got her clamped down good, and we don't throw this part across the floor. So let's chew out some material. Got her, no dramas. Excellent. Just a dab will do you. Made much.
<clears throat> and we'll just let this sit up for a little bit. It's five minute epoxy, but we'll give it a little bit longer. No rush. Mix up a little more epoxy and we'll get that logo I just made stuck to this bottle opener. And just a little dab will do us again. Don't need much. It'll squish out real easy. That may be enough. Pick that up, came out nice. A little bit of polish, let's put it in straight. Alrighty, I'm ready to sit up. Let's put the final touch on it. See if I can hook it. There we go. All right. So we got one bottle opener. It's got some heft to it, which is kind of nice. But then again, it's probably a little bit big to put in your pocket. Next one I make, I may may try and just have the uh, the handle here an eighth of an inch thick instead of three sixteenths. See how that comes out. I think it looks pretty good, but you know, if it doesn't work, what good is it, right? So let's uh, test out our concept here. Got a good old frosty root beer since it's still the middle of the day and we still got machinery to operate. So we're gonna have the, uh, the light stuff here. And this is a twist off one, so there's not much to bite on. Yeah, come on, baby. Yeah, there's no lip here to bite on. Look at that. It may work better on a beer bottle. Come on. <laughs> there she goes. Yeah, probably better I'll twist off when you got to twist off. All right, sweet. All righty, there you go. One bottle opener. For a secret Santa gift. Hopefully the recipient will enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the build. We got a little bit of a shaper action going on there to make the handle and a little milling. So all in all fun project. I'll get this thing wrapped up and um, wait for the address and the name of the recipient. I don't have that yet, but once I get that then I'll get it off to them. And uh, 
in return I should be receiving something so when I do I'll make a, a video of that so with that it's gonna be a wrap thumbs up are always appreciated leave comments down below and we'll see you on the next project take care guys